Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. We're here with another video where we actually went kayaking in Amroth. A uh, lovely evening we had. Uh, we saw a bit of the coastline and saw some crazy creatures too. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos and I'll catch you all later. So after a bit of paddling and chatting, uh, we actually came to the conclusion that we didn't have a plan. Um, it kind of all went a bit low below. We were like, do we head over this direction or do we not? And we kind of didn't really actually plan it. It was one of those spontaneous days where it was just like, screw it, let's go out. It was the week where it was completely nice and we just took every day as we could, even though this was literally the beginning of me being ill. Um, well, me hitting the worst of being ill, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, so, to basically fix this, um, to, to fix the, like, just literally us recording everything, uh, we stopped and took some photos. Um, and it literally, you know, you just sitting there looking at the sun going over um, one of the caravan sites that's on the cliff. Is one of the nicest things ever. Obviously, it started getting a bit dark and cold, but it was pretty cool, and you know, quite thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and sometimes, you know, um, is like you just see the scenery around you and how much we take it for granted is mad. Um, after basically this photo shoot, um, <laughs> well, I call it a photo shoot. After these number of photos, um, the idea was we'd do a small trip from. Amroth basically to Wiseman's was it was kind of my draft on where I'd take us um, but we kind of didn't get there and it just kind of ended up with us just going on a random 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 loop de leo and uh, we just literally just followed the coastline seeing if we seen anything cool <laughs> Just go over the wise and grab a vodka and coke. Bugger off back there and drink. <laughs> 
Well, by the time I got there, it burned it all off. It's great. I'm pretty sure I know something that still works there. I'm going to bring it out to the beach. I don't know why I went there, I just went straight and then suddenly the current just turned from there into the right. Yeah. I'm already dead. No, sorry, go for it. Yeah, imagine if you did. This is your wraparound work out here. We'll go all the way to Wyden. We'll come back. What's that over there? Oh, there you go. There's, um, there's Mega Man's Park up there. To your right. Huh? Yeah. I think if I can get a photo of her alley, she'll love that. That's the best move. We've only gone three quarters of the way. Yeah. See, once we get a wise one, we get back to it. I don't think we see a seal. There's one little seal that comes around here. Well, it did before winter, I know that. Where are we now? Mate, he's all the way around that rock. Oh, yeah, Tembi's around the, over there. No, he's not, he's back. He was eating starfish yesterday. He looked, he put his head up and he had a starfish stuck to the side of his mouth. So guys, just want to clarify, because, uh, you know, not everyone hears about the news in Pembrokeshire and even actually down in areas of Cornwall and stuff currently. Um, but basically, um, Wally the Walrus is what we've called him in Tembi. Um, me and Shan sadly haven't had the luxury of being able to meet him. Um, but... Uh, he basically had pitched himself, come down from Northern Ireland, come down towards Tembe, pitched himself on the lifeboat ramp. So Wally the Walrus is actually an actual walrus that has come down all the way to Pembrokeshire. Um, sadly, now has gone down to France and stuff, and I believe is on his way back to uh, Cornwall, uh, as current latest news says. So that's just a little clarification on who Wally the Walrus is. Right, so as Shan was particularly fond on her photo shoots, weren't you, Shan? No, I don't know what about. Yeah, you were like, oh my god, get the camera out. So we ended up getting the camera out and taking <laughs> well, some photos. Well, you got photos of everything. you got to take photos of the moment. But the, yeah, but there was many moments where we were on the water and still on the water and still on the water and still on the water paddling. But this was a special moment. A particularly good moment where the phone had to come. Well, I guess so. You can, right, ma'am? Well, what we'll do is we'll let the video do the actual talking here, and uh, you guys can see for yourselves what exactly happened by us. Dolphin! Holy shit! Holy shit!
now, it's heading out. Right, just do nice gentle paddle. Go in that direction. Just keep an eye out anywhere, because this bugger could be a... Just saying, because when there's one, there might be two. Mate, I just want him to do this. I, I don't care that it wasn't here. The fact it was about 10 meters away from me, not even that. And you know, you could see the little fin, you could. The thing is, this little bugger could be under us and we don't even know. Imagine it appeared between us, that'd be so sick. Let me just sit here for another two minutes, please. Because it just came out of nowhere. I don't know. That's where we, that was the trail originally. But when I saw it, it was heading in that direction rather than that. Now, when, when it went that way, and it was going that way, it come up again, but it came up going sort of that way. The way I was facing, it was dead on time. Dolphins around here. Holy shit. Holy motherfucker. No. I've never seen a dolphin this far south. They've normally been at Cardigan Bay, which is pretty much mid Wales. Then some have come through this way, gone down to Ishgar, gone Tembe. None of really come over to me. But that's one on its own. True. But then when one starts jumping, not jumping, but peeking, they normally all do. And they all have to for air. That way. Wait. There's two. Are you seeing two black things like I am? Mate, I think that is them.
So after about uh, of, uh, many, many minutes <laughs> of searching and looking and searching, it got to the point where I think we'd look at a bird and think it was a dolphin. So I think that was a good point to end our journey, I think. Plus it was getting dark, so uh, it was about time we put the kayaks. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was actually a lot of fun. Um, we were quite lucky to have the encounter we had. Um, and, uh, you know, when we've been there since, you know, nothing's really appeared. Uh, so it's kind of one of those little things that, you know, just happens. And hopefully we'll come across a lot more when we move up north and go towards Nuki area and stuff. So for now, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And stay safe. And I'll catch you all later.